right, so we have ourselves circle D here, and it has an area of 289. We know that BC is the length of 16. We want to find out what the length of AB is. Well, first off, I guess I'll go ahead and just jot down that this guy is 16 right there. That's lovely. Now, what about this area of 289? What, 289 pi, excuse me. What can I figure out from that? Well, I know the area of a circle is equal to pi times my radius squared. So if I know the area, I could set up an equation of pi r squared equals 289 pi. When I solve this, I can divide by pi, which would cancel my pi's. Jenny, is that upsetting you? Jenny's whining. All right, so I'm going to have r squared equals 289, square root on both sides to solve, and I'll get r equals 17. Technically, when you solve this, you get plus or minus 17, but we're talking about a length here. We're talking about a radius. It's got to be positive. So if r is 17, that would mean that this length here is 17, this is 17, this whole thing is going to be 34. So where do I go from here? Well, I do have, hmm, two lengths of a triangle, but is this triangle all right? Triangle, could I use Pythagorean theorem? Well, if angle B, it's an on angle, right? I'm talking about this angle right here. Angle B is inscribed in a semicircle, right? AC is a diameter. Therefore, half of that intercepted arc of 180 is going to be 90. This is going to be a right angle here. So yes, I can use Pythagorean theorem or... Notice that I have an 8 what 17 triangle. It's an 8 15 17 triangle that's been doubled to be 30 for AB. AB equals 30. Bingo, bango, dunzo.